guys, Simcolor here, and today we're going to be learning how to get data from our Firebase database. In the last lesson we learned how to write it into the database. So you probably have something like this in your project in the Firebase. Now you're going to learn how. So to do that, go into your uh, Android Studio project. Let's remove that. And now let's add a text view. In, it, in, in this text view, we'll be putting the result that we get when we actually try to fetch that, that value from the database. Let's call it child value text view. And let's add it to our main activity. Private text view. This is a find view by ID. If you don't have everything that I all I already have here, you can download it from the my previous lesson. So now, in order to get the value from the database, we'll have to, to add an, a listener to the mref. So, and this listener will be waiting in for the database to actually change so every time the database changes or better yet these this child changes the value of this child the this listener will be called and um, we can do whatever with it so let's say mref dot add. now we have three listeners here and they all do they all exist for different purposes so the first one is a single value event this will be called only one time the first time that this function is run, this listener is called upon it will give you the value of that child and then it is done it will never be called again then we have the child event listener which is this is for the case that in, um, that you, you have multiple childs within your main child so you want to get everything and then you have the value event listener for the times where you want to get the value of this child and nothing else so now let's say we want the value edit and say new value event listener now you have two things here just see what this is. Okay. You have the on data change and on cancelled. On data change will be called every time there is a, ch a change within this uh, child. And on cancelled, we won't be looking in, into today, but it's in the case of an error when you are writing data to it. So we won't be bother, bothered by that today. So now on data change, you'll get this value, data snapshot. This data, data snapshot is everything that that child has. It has a bunch of information, but we, won't, we will learn. So right string dot value of data snapshot dot get value and so next get the variable of the text view and set text to this child value Okay, it is all done, so I believe that's all. Let's run it and see if no errors are detected.
okay it ran and it it gave an, a value of no like now let's go into our firebase project and it is no because there isn't any child that corresponds to this sync coder and this listener is trying to grab the value of the child with the name sync coder so if there is none it will return no now let's add anything that it can be hello world let's click add and as you can see it automatically calls this function gets the value of that child and sets the text so hello world hello world if we change to anything else it will automatically change as well hello so i believe that is all for today thank you all very much for watching if you have any questions any at all uh, please type them in the in the comments down below i'll try to answer to every single one of you and yeah like subscribe ciao